Warning, this video contains spoilers for the Super Mario Brothers movie. You have been warned. Super Mario is one of the most well-known franchises in the entire world, with it selling over 396 million copies worldwide. It's true that the world of Super Mario, and with it being so popular, it's bound to get collaborations between other franchises. Such as when Nintendo teamed up with Sega to make the most just okay of games the world has ever seen. Actually, one of the best games the world has ever seen. But what if Nintendo collaborated with Nintendo? First, time and space will break and ship the Earth's tectonic plates 250 million years into the future. Then these little things called Pikmin will sprout out and will become the new dominant species of this new Earth. And finally, Nintendo will make their biggest IP come together with these Pikmin. But how? It all started on November 16th, 1952, when Shigeru Miyamoto was born. Okay, I think we can skip a couple years into the future. September 19th, 1985, the Super Mario Bros. video game released on the biggest home console at the time, the Nintendo Entertainment System. This game about an Italian plumber who ventures off to save a princess became the world's most popular franchise. It got so popular that it got sequels, spin-offs, merchandise, TV shows, and even its own movie. Eight years later, after Super Mario Bros. in 1993, a Super Mario Bros. live-action movie starring Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo came to be. But this movie was critically acclaimed and scared Nintendo off from making movies about their IPs for many, many years to come. 30 years later, Nintendo would give it a shot at another Mario movie and it absolutely became an instant hit. It would change how we see Mario entirely, giving him and Luigi a backstory in on why and how they're in the Mushroom Kingdom. And it's now canon that Bowser is a fantastic singer. I'm on the love you till the very end. In the beginning of the movie, Mario and Luigi get their first call for their plumbing business. The bros rush to the building, fix some pipes, almost get killed by a dog, almost kill a dog. In the scene where the homeowners are chilling in their living room, on the right side of the room, there is a small crystal statue of a red Pikmin just standing there. It's either that Pikmin is a huge brand and is popular amongst rich people, or they're living and breathing creatures that inhabit Earth. To my knowledge, Pikmin were the other IP outside of Super Mario that were referenced in the movie. Wait, no. There was Kid Icarus and Balloon Fight and Punch Out. But those don't count because they're not modern Nintendo series like how Pikmin is. All the series I mentioned before were made in the 1980s, but Pikmin was made in the 2000s and is the only one from that era to be mentioned. Also, this movie has given me a curse, I swear, because now the only thing on my Instagram feed are reposts and TikToks of Bowser x Luigi. In the Pikmin short movie, Occupational Hazards, a reference to Super Mario himself is seen as a red Pikmin jumps out of a warp pipe and does a little wahoo. This could further cement the reality of Pikmin being in the same universe as Mario's. How would Pikmin know if Super Mario was a thing if they weren't in the same universe as him? They obviously know about Super Mario by the treasure collected in Pikmin 2. In Pikmin 2, your main objective is to collect ancient relics of the past civilization to be used to pay off your employer's debt. This game might not sound interesting, but it is very fun. Collect marbles, batteries, fight machine gun wielding spiders. Some of the treasures you collect are real life items such as a tube of chapstick or a 7 up bottle cap. Some of these treasures don't have to be real world counterparts, such as the Flame of Tomorrow, a box of Bowser branded matches. And we all know that the Mario universe has branded things like all the Mario Kart adverts and the panda in the Super Mario movie that is owned by Ludwig von Koopa. Another treasure is the Unspeakable Wonder, which is the Peach's Crown. The only way these items would get here is if their respective characters lived in the same world as the Pikmin. There's also Mario Paint Tubes and Mario Paint Chalk. In Super Nintendo World, you won't find only Mario things, but also little Pikmin scattered around. Pikmin is once again the only franchise mentioned inside of the Mario universe in this theme park. I won't go into much detail, but if you want to know more, then just click the card at the top. I made a video specifically about this topic. 
and Mario Golf Toadstool Tour for the Nintendo GameCube, Pikmin are also referenced in the game. In the course, Peach's Castle Grounds, hitting the ball into the patch of flowers would cause Pikmin to get knocked out of it. This would probably be the most popular Pikmin reference in the Mario game for a long time. In Super Mario Odyssey, the bushes near Peach's Garden have small white flowers that closely resemble the flowers that the Pikmin have in the games. This further tightens the bond of Pikmin and its relation to Super Mario. Video games would always scrap stuff, no matter how finished or unfinished they are. In Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga for the GameCube Advance, in the Star Beans Cafe, EGAD will give Mario & Luigi a coffee machine. With it, they can make many different types of coffees, and depending on what type of coffee you make, certain characters would show up and give a statement on it. Alma was a scrap character from this section and he would give a small creature log type of thing on the drink. In the WarioWare games, Pikmin is mentioned quite a bit. In the latest game, WarioWare Get It Together for Nintendo Switch, there is a micro game solely based around Pikmin 2. Objective of the game is to knock down the Pelopozy before time runs out. Difficulty will get somewhat harder as you continue playing and can make this micro game really fun to play. In other Wario games such as WarioWare Smooth Moves, you play as an Emperor's Roblox, tasked with crushing all the Pikmin on screen. WarioWare DIY, Omar needs to throw red Pikmin onto a rock with the cursor. WarioWare Gold, the Emperor's Roblox minigame comes back, but Wario also draws a crude painting of some Pikmin. Pikmin has appeared in other Mario games like Mario Maker, Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros. Even though that one really isn't in a Mario game, my video is my rule, so <laughs> it is for now. But it really seems that Miyamoto really wants Pikmin to be part of the Mario canon. Well, we won't be for certain until a new Pikmin or Mario game comes out. Hopefully in Pikmin 4, or hopefully in Mario Galaxy 3. Ugh. Well, I'm Fernando, and thank you for watching.